Well, hello again, everybody. It's Ebony here at Colored Beautiful, and I'm coming with a lipstick video. All right, this one here is going to be obviously about Clean Color Femme lipsticks. This is a very cheap brand of lipstick that you normally find, like in your beauty supply store. Um, you know, your, your mom and pop type beauty supply stores, not Sally's or anything like that. But you will find them them there, or you know, specialty stores. Okay, but they're very cheap. At the stores, they range from about a dollar ninety nine to two ninety nine. I purchased mine online, not from CleanColor.com, although that is an alternative. But I got them from AllCosmeticsWholesale.com. They have a second site called Sweet Seven Beauty. SweetSevenBeauty.com is where I got them, and they came in these little sets. But each set was like five ninety nine or seven ninety nine, something like that. No more than seven ninety nine. So let me show you what I got. Okay, this one is called Pink Seeker. Okay, I like the packaging. I have not tried them on at all. They're still brand spanking new. The only one I've tried on was this one, and I believe I wore it in my last video. And I'll you know tell you about the textures after I try them. So trying them for the first time, swatching them for the first time here on camera. So this is Pink Seeker. And that's what it looks like. It's not very, very, very opaque. The next one is called Skydive. That's the color, so light blue. So the textures are not the greatest. They are, um, they kind of skip and it's a very light formula. They move around a lot on the lip, okay? So you don't get the opacity that you'd like. You um, kind of feel like you have to keep layering it on to get the depth that you want. So next we have Magic Lime. Yeah, the texture and the um, formula of these lipsticks are pretty bad. Yeah, I don't really, I don't like the fact that they don't blend or they're not, um, they just sit on, it just sits on your lip and it moves and it doesn't even cover your entire lip. Um, there's missing spaces and stuff like that, so... The next one is Cast of Spell, and it's this really pretty purpley lilac color. Alright, the texture of this one is much better than the other ones I've tried. As you can see, it went on a lot better. And it feels a little bit more... And it feels a little more matte than the others. I mean, it's not completely matte, but it feels a little bit drier than the others, which means it stays put a little bit better. The other ones, no. So moving on to the next set, I believe this one is the spring set. Um, and this one here is called Jewelry Box, and it's just a light teal or turquoise color. Okay. So I can tell you now that the texture on this one is also better than the first three that I tried. It's a little bit more dry, um, not as like creamy and all over the place as the others. So it's, you know, a little bit, obviously this one is very, very opaque. It doesn't really cover the lips, every space of your lip. It's still kind of like sitting on top, but it's still a lot more um, opaque than the other ones are. All 
All right, so you can see the potential of this lipstick with a lip liner. Again, this one is called uh, Jewelry Box, and I use Milani's, uh, not Milani, is this Milani or Jordana? Let's see, Jordana. Jordana and Milani are both the same, okay? Jordana is just a cheaper version of Milani, just to let you know that. But this is Cool Aqua Eyeliner by Jordana, all right? The next color is Happily After. And it's another pink. It is a very light pastelish type of pink. And this one, as you can see, this one has that gross texture like the first three did. It just does not, um, you know, I don't know. It's very not oily, but overly creamy it does not sit on the lips properly it just moves around it doesn't do the lips justice so the next one is yellow and this one is called lightning stick it's a true yellow okay So you see how that just, it's very uneven, very patchy. Um, you don't get much of the color. It's not opaque at all to me. Um, it's just like a greasy, patchy, you know, mess. Now these are very inexpensive products. I am not expecting a miracle out of them. Um, I'm just telling you the truth behind the product as I experience it. I'm not trying to dog clean color or anything like that, but yeah, for those of you who really want the real behind these lipsticks, this is what it is, okay? And uh, yeah, the yellow one, it would be nice if it was actually, if it was a little more matte, if it was just, you know, if it would apply on the lips evenly. It does. I don't know if it's just my lips. I don't know if anybody else has had success with this applying, you know, evenly. But I truly doubt it because it's just, you know, the formula. All right, so this one here is one of the main reasons why I bought this whole collection. And this one is called Purple Machine. I have tried this one on already. You, you know, I, you know I, I had to. Um, I actually wore it in the last video. I don't know if I'm going to post it before this one or after this one. But I, I, I did do a video with this on. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's a beautiful, beautiful purple color. Love the color. I absolutely love the color. However, it has that blotchy texture. Um, it's a bit better than the others. However, it just it doesn't apply. If it was just a little bit more dry, the formula, it will stick to the lips a lot better. Um, I, I'm a little disappointed because I really, really, really like this color. It's like the perfect, real, true purple lipstick color. But the formula is just not the best. It's not going to last long. Um, I even tried it with a purple liner and it changed the color so much that it was like, well, you know, hmm. and it still kind of skipped around even with a lip liner underneath it. On to the next bunch. And this one is the Vivid Bunch, the Tingling Mimosa. Oh, okay. That um, goes on a little bit better. And as you can see, it went on a lot more even. Um, it's still too soft. Um, you know, a little too oily. But it's still pretty. Next one is Flirty Tango. And it's a really nice kind of light fuchsia color. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the texture is much better on this one. Um, as you can see, it, it applied much better. 
So the next color is Envious Desire and it's green. It's a really pretty green. I hope that the texture is okay, but we'll see. Uh, it's blotchy when you apply it. I'm not sure if you can see how blotchy it is. I'll try to zoom in on the lips to see if you can see how blotchy. But it's pretty blotchy. Okay, it does not apply evenly. It's still too soft, oily, you know, mm, it moves around a lot. Yeah. Even the lip liner on top of it is kind of, see how it's separating and being weird. Yeah. All right, so this is what it looks like with a liner. It's still very blotchy in the center. Um, as you can see, you can see the pink part of my lip. You touch it and look, it just comes off. Not good. All right, so the last one is called After Hours and it is this deep blue color. And there it is right there, okay. I really hope this one is okay because it's so pretty. It really is beautiful color. Ah. Yeah. This one is definitely drier in texture. And I'm so glad this one is a decent one. Okay? So, yeah, you can get away with wearing this one. Yeah, but that's the last one, and I'm going to show you guys the, the best ones. This one is number one, this one's number two in my book, okay? So this one's number one, and this one's number two. They're all pretty good formulas, but these two, probably neck and neck, okay? These three are decent. You can work with them. Um, they're a little bit softer than these, um, but you can kind of do a temporary look, like if you're doing a video or something, or a picture and you need a special color, you can get away with it, but if you're trying to wear it somewhere, don't even try it, it won't last, okay? So that's it, you guys. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you like videos like this, let me know, okay? I'll do more like this when I purchase products. I won't try them on until I get on camera with you guys, I'll, you know, first impressions and or whatever. Let me know, or thumbs up the video to, to be encouraging, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to encourage me. Thumbs up the video, okay? Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.